next week, but um, I'm not, I'm in the emotional state of the character. Um, when I watch it, maybe after the fact I might be, but I'm, I'm wherever the character is. So that's my answer. Um, my question is, what are your thoughts on Team Four Stars A Bridge series of Dragon Ball? Woo! With all respect, this is a. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> I think it's funny, uh, but this is a Dragon Ball Z panel. Uh, you know, I, that's my feeling on it. It's funny, and I met those. Oh, I met those guys. I, I've seen them before, um, and there are. It's a very mixed feelings for me. I'm, I'm not gonna comment. If the other cast members want to comment, uh, that's fine. Don't touch the soft spot. Uh, hi. Uh, is it? This is for uh, Sean and Masako. Uh, how do you feel uh, to meet each other as Goku? How do we feel what? How do you feel to meet each other as Goku? Um, I personally uh, booked this convention for that specific purpose. Uh, so I am thrilled and it, it's an honor and I barely feel like I have the right to be on this stage. So that's, I, I'm blown away. あ、私は嬉しいです。だ、あの、異性だから余計にね、あ、男性がやるあと僕っていうのがこういう感じだっていうのがあって、私は私なりにあの女性でも一応男のつもりでやってるんですけど、うん。私は嬉しいですね。
So like everyone around here, it's a real honor to be in your presence. Uh, so for my question, do you guys have a favorite line or several favorite lines that you remember that are really memorable? And uh, can you perform it for our hearing player? Frieza asked me this to, in lunch, and I, I really couldn't come up with one, but I'm going to think about it while they're talking. Go ahead, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I only have one word. <laughs> and that was, uh, that hurt. <laughs> No? <laughs> or is that good enough? In, that, in the episode where the Vidal learns to fly, um, uh, she's trying so hard to get this. She wants it so bad, and she's sitting there just, you know, please, you know, developing the chi and the energy. And there's, it's such a subtle and beautiful moment. And all of a sudden, in the background, you hear, "I'm a birdie! I'm a birdie!" <laughs> I'm thinking of two, maybe. Oh, a lot of people like the Ally to Good Nightmare to You speech, which is We're pretty fun. Dragon Ball Z you know, Ally to Good Nightmare to You! That whole thing. Um, I like that. I also like, there's actually a scene that's actually ended up being an outtake where Goku is um, looking for the androids, and I could not get it right. And the line is, I wish they would have shown me a picture of them. But I kept saying, I wish they would have shown them a picture of me. And so I kept going, I wish they'd have shown them a picture of me. And I kept laughing and laughing and Mike McFarland and, and I did it like 20 times. And he's going, you know, I wish they would have shown them, or you, I can't even do that. <laughs> a picture of them. I, li I like outtakes, I like uh, funny lines and, um, and you know, there's little subtle lines like goodbye my friends when he's gonna die. Um, it's just those are the special moments. I don't really have favorite lines. Uh, Kamehamehas are always really fun. Uh, Kaiokens are always really fun, uh, you know. The spirit bomb got tiring because um, his arms, arms are up for ever at one point. I'm like, get your damn hands up! Um, uh, so they usually, turn, my favorite lines usually turn into outtakes, uh, but, but uh, there's a lot, a lot of the speeches and a lot of the positive things Goku says, um, those are always very inspiring and, and very enjoyable to perform. But Goku is not, you know, my favorite lines are probably with King Kai and the jokes and the, you know, what are you doing the whole, you know? You know, I, you know, I, I, I sold my car for gas money, or, you know, <laughs> you can play the piano, but you can't do an fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, those are, I can't, I, and the problem is we've all recorded this so long ago, it's very difficult to uh, remember them oftentimes. At least it is for me. I don't know about the other cast. Do you have a favorite line you like? No, no pressure. It's very difficult, but two. Omeidake wa zette ni yuruse ni. <laughs> uh, I have two favorites. <laughs> you guys may not realize this, but sitting next to her when she does Goku voices, I can feel her uh, change into uh, something else. I can feel her channel, it's like Masako, then suddenly I can feel Goku sitting next to her. It's amazing. And, uh, she said, uh, I have two, and uh, the first was, um, only you I will not forgive, to which uh, Frieza filed an apologize. <laughs> and, uh, and the second one was, uh, I'm hungry. She <laughs> can! I will be safe. I'm mistaken. Sorry. Makanku Sappo!
Meanwhile, mine's like a hybrid of the narrator and Gohan. It's like, next time on Dragon Ball Z, fight you. I want to kill you. Yeah! Woo! Or the Cartoon Network version, I want to destroy you. <laughs> Kyle, do you remember? I like it when Teen Gohan is doing the Saiyan Man and he's trying to be real cool and doing a pose. And I remember what he says, and it comes across so yeah. funny and nerdy and dorky. Yeah, do you remember it's the Saiyan Man rap, which yeah. is on YouTube, but I don't have it memorized. I need to. I the love first that. time I tried to do the Saiyan Man rap, uh, I was doing it like James Brown. It's like, <laughs> and the Chris Savage goes, no, no, stop, stop, he's not hip. <laughs> you need to wide it up, make it really white. <laughs> so, oh, okay, he's like, he has no sense of rhythm. No. Nerd it up. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, we both have a... Obviously, we, we have a favorite episode, which has been out learning to fly. It was a very special episode. So we were uh, thinking, I would say, one of our favorite lines, and then she would follow me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's okay with you. Oh, Go on. I'm flying. Go on. I just told it. Okay, we've got time for two more questions. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna go over here, I haven't been over here yet. All right guys, um, this is coming from the bottom of my heart and soul. Uh, this goes out to everybody that's here as well. Um, for years, I'm 21 years old right now, for years I've been watching Dragon Ball Z, and to see all of you here, literally, to all see all of you here is just a magnificent sight to see right now. And also, as a martial artist in, in perspective, is that you guys have just inspired me in so many ways to just form and warp my mind, my body, my soul, into what you see right now, which may not be much, but I guarantee you in a few years you'll be seeing me on TV. Um, just what you see right now, I guarantee you everything that I have learned from you over the time of watching Dragon Ball Z, I will be incorporating that into my life, my mind, my soul, and my spirit. And I just want to say thank you. Send me some royalty checks and let's be famous. No, I'm kidding. You're welcome. That's awesome, man. I promise you this is not a question about Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods. It's actually for you, Kyle, because I have been warning this throughout the whole entire series. Everybody I've asked cannot come up with an answer to this question. How did PyCon die? Thank you! <laughs> like, he happens to be one of the most powerful characters and able to take a punch from a Super Saiyan. So I'm sure a common cold would not kill this man. <laughs> Honestly, don't know. <laughs> he doesn't have a nose either, so how can he get a cold? <laughs> I yeah. Maybe it was just an oversight from the writers. My good eyes not dead. I don't know. He is that. <laughs> Uh, apparently, Pike Luhan is, oh, is not dead. Oh, there, he's alive if he has a halo. Because um, if, you're, if you have a halo, um, you, you can come back from the other side. You're, you're allowed to come back to Earth. 
As, as long as you have, as long as you keep your halo on on you, um, it will it will be for a limited time. But uh, you're allowed to come back to Earth. So uh, don't worry. <laughs> Everybody, please join me in giving these wonderful people a huge round of applause. Yeah, we're going to do the whole room with that. How many, how many, how many? Yes! The whole room. Yes! So. All of us together? I come out the muscles. Ready? Okay. So. I love you so much! <laughs> we love you guys, Charlie! We love you! Okay, so, as, as most of you may have noticed in the program, there's now an autograph session. Now, to make this a little interesting, what we're going to do is we're going to play a little game of Junk and Palm. How many? So. How, how many uh, winners do we need to uh, to keep? <laughs> so we'll be keeping 100 winners. Yeah, thanks. Uh -huh.